We're going to build a ladder and we're going to have a shave with gravel. And that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WetShavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Great to see you again. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. It promises to be outstanding. It is elegant. It is refined. It is gentlemanly. It is definitely top shelf. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here. This is Gravel Shaving Soap, the Gravel brand. This is absolutely wonderful. The packaging on this is top notch. The scent is beautiful. It definitely screams top shelf, gentlemanly, refined, elegant. Check this out. Look at this, Rob. Look how this just comes right out of here like that. The sleeve comes out, and then you have another sleeve right here. It just pulls out like that. Check that out. I'm just going to try to make sure I get that on camera for you without dropping it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And there is the gravel shave soap right there. Huh? How about that? And here it is right here in a stainless steel bowl. Absolutely beautiful. Here it is right here. Now I have some information regarding this uh, shave soap. Gravel shaving soap continues the tradition of the classic wet shave. Uh, since founder Michael B. Knudsen created the first men's fragrance from the USA, Gravel, a man's cologne, in 1957, the Gravel brand has been committed to the highest quality standards in terms of ingredients and materials. The very high yield soap is easy to whip and gives an extremely creamy, dense, and compact shaving foam. By using it, the beard, hair, and skin are ideally prepared for shaving. The charming fragrance of this classic shaving soap contains an intelligent and assertive combination of leathery, woody, and citrus notes. The soap is in a high quality stainless steel shaving bowl. It's 100 grams, three and a half ounces. The fragrance notes are pettigrain, orange, rosemary, bergamot and lemon cedarwood, sandalwood, geranium, iris, rose, clove and cinnamon leather, notes of amber, musk, and castorium. How about that? Uh, and uh, they have some additional information here. A brand that has rolled through the decades looking back on a vivid past and standing on the precipice of a brilliant future. Since its creation in 1957, Gravel has seen the trends come and go, but has always remained true to itself. Strong, elegant, unaltered. And that is also on the packaging, that statement, which is really kind of neat. Now, Michael Knudsen created Gravel and uh, though that, that scent and this brand back in 1957. And uh, you know what? It kind of fell by the wayside for whatever reason. And uh, Georg and Christian Blessing uh, decided to bring it back. And they've acquired the brand and they want to bring back these classic scents that were marketed under the Gravel name. And they have succeeded in doing this. This is an absolutely awesome, awesome scent. Not only, not only did they send along the uh, shaving soap, they also sent along some uh, cologne samples. Uh, and we're going to also finish off the shave with one of these as well. So I have a nice selection here and I'm going to use uh, American Blend. Now, I believe that's one of them that's in here right here. And that's what I'm going to use to finish off the shave with. And we're going to have a shave with it. It's going to be, abs I'm absolutely looking forward to this. My thanks to uh, the blessings for passing this along, allowing me to review it and share it with the viewers. <laughs> this is absolutely wonderful. I love the stainless steel shaving bowl. Absolutely fits wonderfully in the hand. Again, the scent is very elegant, refined, very gentlemanly. Uh, it's everything that you, uh, it's everything that was in that description. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, we are going to use uh, my uh, Carb Overlander 
razor right here. We're also going to use my Simpson T3 synthetic shaving brush. We're going to use a uh, Gillette Swede razor blade. Thanks to Beth Jones for that. Also, thanks to Mark Bagwell for the, uh, the T3 uh, shaving brush. We're going to keep everything nice and warm in my uh, Phoenix Shuttle uh, Phoenix Phoenix Shaving Brush Scuttle. <laughs> Say that five times fast, right? Uh, I'm also going to finish it off with an Allen block and also some uh, Barber Dough Aftershave, after which I will then apply some of that wonderful scent from Gravel, American Blend. Uh, I believe that's what it's called. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some hot water. We're going to put some hot water on top of the puck right here. I'm going to put some hot water in my brush scuttle. We're going to let everything kind of warm up and get going for the equivalent of a nice hot shower. And then we'll be right back to start the shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, we're all set to go. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take this water right here. No pre-shave. We're going to kind of use that as a pre-shave. Oh boy, that's, <laughs> that's, I can see there's a nice creaminess on top of this puck right away just from that water soaking there. That's marvelous. That's absolutely marvelous. <clears throat> we're going to wet the face and we're going to get to the shave. If I forgot to mention, I have two days worth of beard growth. I skipped a day of shaving because I wanted to really give a nice proving ground for this shave soap. Okay, here's my brush, and we're going to go ahead and load it up here. We're doing a face lather, and uh, this looks <laughs> marvelous already. My goodness. Let me make a couple of corrections. It's not American Blend uh, cologne. It's American Dream. And I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use a man's cologne because that was the original cologne and scent that inspired, that everyone loved and inspired the uh, Georg and Christian Blessing to bring the company back. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to use. Look at that. Look at that. I think that's, I think, you know, I'm just going to go a little more here. Kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Look, I got a little bit of a mini peak right there. I think that's a good brush load right there. I think that's got it. I can always go back and get some more if needed. What a marvelous, marvelous scent. Wow. That is really, really nice and creamy already. And I've got two days worth of beard growth and it's giving me some really nice coverage. It's really covering over the whisker very, very nicely. I mean, that is wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a little bit of water right here like this. Just a little bit. Look how quickly that developed. My gosh, that's, that's marvelous. A nice warm lather. Oh, really? that was easy. Rich and creamy and wonderful. My gosh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little bit of extra time here. Got my blade right here, my Gillette Platinum Swede right here, and we're going to load this into my razor. Let me put that down, get my razor right here. This is my Carve Overlander razor right here. Okay, we're going to set that, let me get the blade out like this. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm going to let that soap uh, just moisturize my skin and soften the whisker and uh, that sort of thing and see how how it maintains its current state. See if it if it breaks down, anything like that, and I, it doesn't feel like it's doing that at all. Okay, so here's the blade, just so you can see. Okay, yeah, let's just get the blade like this so you can see. There's the blade right there. Okay, we're going to put that on there like that. And then we're going to take the uh, base plate, set that on there like that. Here's my handle, just like that. 
okay. There it is. All right. Beautiful. Blade balance and alignment spot on. End tabs are enclosed in the razor head. We're all set to go. This is marvelous. Hi, this is marvelous. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. And the lather is still there. Nice, nice and creamy. Hasn't broken down at all. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is really nice and smooth. Boy, that's some nice protection there. Wow, wow, that is ter that's terrific. I mean, two days worth of beard growth, no problem. No tugging, no pulling, really nice and smooth, beautiful, beautiful glide. I got something going on right here. I don't know if that's a blemish or what that is. Just so you know. And the uh, the uh, lather really aided and gave me a lot of nice protection there. So it just kind of skipped right over it. This razor does a nice job getting up underneath the nostrils. Really, really terrific. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. I'm right there. It's socially acceptable. That's pretty amazing. That really is. That is really, really nice. All right, here we go. Got plenty on the brush. I'm going to go with second pass here. Look how that just paints on. Just a couple of swirls on the face and the rest of it just paints on, comes right out of the brush knot. Look at that. Look at that. That's marvelous. That is really, really nice. And again, no pre-shave oil, no pre-shave cream, no pre-shave soap. This is just gravel shave soap all by itself. And look at that. It's such a nice, creamy consistency. I mean, really. It, it really does have probably more creaminess than most shave soaps. Really, really terrific. All right, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Some nice residual slickness there to allow me to go over some areas. Ordinarily, you don't want to do that, but it's there if you need it. Again, a nice light touch is all you need. And it just glides across the face and just shaves away the whisker so pleasantly. Uh, maybe you hear a little of that audio feedback, but it's not, it's a really good audio feedback. I mean, the whisker is just being very, very kindly shaved away, for lack of a better word. It is so smooth. That's nice.
That's marvelous. Probably not going to need much here on the upper lip because the uh, Overlander razor really did a nice job of getting underneath the nostrils. Again, right there, nothing going on. I mean, it skipped right over. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, second pass done. Let's rinse. This, the shave is done. The shave is done. I could probably do a little bit of touch up, but I think that's going to retract. Maybe here, I think it's going to retract. This has really, really been a great, great shave. The richness and the creaminess of the lather really gave me a lot of protection, but the glide is absolutely beautiful. The creaminess, as you paint it on, you can detect it. It's wonderful. I mean, it, it, it feels creamy coming off the brush. It really is something. All right, we're going to go ahead and do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here is my uh, warm water rinse. Oh, that's terrific. That really, that really is a nice, nice result. That's marvelous. Really terrific. All right. Cold water, here's my cold water rinse. That's great. That's really, really nice. Terrific. Terrific slickness. Real nice and creamy. I mean, I just can't get over that. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, what a shave. It rinses off nicely. There's a lot of nice slickness there. And again, not sure what this is. A blemish maybe? I don't know. But the, the lather really, really gave it some nice protection. And it didn't aggravate it at all. I'm going to need a head shave. So I'll probably skip the balm this time around and just go right to Helen Block Barbado as an aftershave, and then we'll use that a man's cologne. Looking forward to that scent. So here is my uh, boy, a really, <laughs> really nice result. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful, wonderful result. Here is my Allen Block. This is the GBS Allen Block. Got a rubber band around that, courtesy of I believe James Sefton. Uh, these are the Tulip rubber bands. I'll link them below if you want to get a pack. Uh, they fit uh, they fit around these GBS Allen blocks very, very nicely. I'll link both below. Okay, here we go. We're going to get some feedback here. Boy, that was a great shave. Nice and close. All right, here we go. That's nice and smooth. There is no stinging at all. Maybe a subtle zing here and there, but really a good close shave. I mean, I'm really, I'm really impressed. Nice bracing. Again, a couple subtle zings here and there, but nothing, I mean, it's nothing hitting me over the head. Nothing shocking me at all. Okay, we're going to just dry this off here a little bit. And uh, we are going to uh, use the case that it came in here. Let me make sure I'm splashing around here. I want to make sure I get the, <laughs> get the water out of here so it'll just dry nicely. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to put it in there like that. And let that uh, sit there and let it be good there. Let it sit there let it be good. <laughs> for the next shave, and uh, it'll be ready to go. Okay, so here's uh, some Barbado, sample of Barbado that Mike H. 
viewer Mike H very kindly sent along. It's got a little spray bottle and we're just going to go ahead and just spray that on my hand like that. Inhale a little bit. <coughs> Apologies. Next time I have to do it lower. Wanted to show it to you on camera and got a little bit of back spray. Okay, that has a nice, nice calming effect, but it has a rather neutral scent to it, which is why I'm using it. Nice calming effect from uh, the Barber Dough. That's pretty good. And again, a nice calming effect. All right, so we're going to finish it off here with a sample of uh, a man's cologne. Now, before we do that, let me show you that they have, I repositioned all these. They have Hudson River, New York, American Dream, 46th Street, and across the ocean right there. Those are the samples they sent. And I've had a chance to sample uh, uh, all of these, and they're all very, very good. Uh, However, I don't think I, I don't think I sampled this one at all, a man's cologne. And this is, this is, this is the base. This is the, the cornerstone that everything's built off of here at Gravel, a man's cologne. So here we go. We're just going to go here like a little bit here. Oh, that's, that's marvelous. That's a fantastic, fantastic scent. That is manly. Yet gentlemanly. It is refined. It's elegant. This is terrific. This is absolutely perfect for a night out on the town. An evening out, this is what you want. You want this shave soap and you want this cologne. Wow, this is really wonderful. I mean, if you're putting on a nice suit uh, and you're going to go out to dinner, my gosh, this is this is wonderful. Both of these are just absolutely fantastic. And again, the shave soap did everything that uh, was promised in the uh, in the copy that I read. A beautiful, rich, creamy lather. A very, very easy to develop a lather. I mean, it was incredibly easy. My first time out using this shave soap, I didn't know what the water to soap ratio was. I had no problem making a lather. I mean, this is fantastic. Not only is the shave soap fantastic, the stainless steel bowl is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it looks like the shave soap, even though it's three and a half ounces, it's going to last you a good long time. And look at the overflow I got here. This really made made a great, great lather. Here, let's take a look at the brush here before I forget. Boy, this is marvelous. One minute. <laughs> Don't want to lose that. Kind of jumped off the counter there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check this out. Look at this here, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? How about that? That is really, really, that is really, really nice. And of course, you know, as I like to show you, you could do a little bit of this here if you want to, a little more agitation, as if you're building it on your, building it on your face. And look, look at that. Look at that. That is just there is a really nice creaminess to this. Really just absolutely wonderful. There is a, just a beautiful, beautiful creaminess to this. Great quality. Again, very, very easy to build a lather. And uh, just wonderful glide, beautiful slickness, beautiful scent. Really nice scent. Everything that they say that they say it is really is in this scent. It's terrific. And of course, the presentation and the packaging. I mean, it's top-notch. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, holiday season is right around the corner. This is a perfect, perfect holiday gift for the wet shaver in your life. This is marvelous. They're going to open this up, and uh, they are going to be presented with an absolutely beautiful packaging and presentation of uh, a wonderful wonderful shaving soap that lives up to ever up to lives up to all the promises that, 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 that the company makes really really terrific now one other thing i want to mention okay if you're looking at it if you're looking to get this uh, as they say here again uh finally after years of absence georg and christian blessing succeeded in marketing gravel cologne again and continuing the business in the spirit of Knudsen. Now, my apologies to Georg. I think previously in a Monday morning mailbag, I pronounced his name George, 
and that's because I draw a comic, comic strip called George. There's no E on the end. It's Georg, I believe is the pronunciation. Forgive me if I've mispronounced your name. But here's the, uh, the point here. Today, as then, the fragrances are only available in the most exquisite establishments. So that's the whole deal right there. If you want to get this, you're going to have to really go to a very, very high-end uh, retailer out there or a very well-known retailer, high-end retailer. I'm trying to think maybe Saks, maybe Macy's, something like that. I think that's probably where it would be. But the point is, it's available at finer retailers. So that's where it's going to be available. And uh, really, it really is. It just really has that kind of vibe to it. It really is a top shelf. Very elegant, very refined, very gentlemanly. It's absolutely terrific. I really had a wonderful shade with it. And that's it right there. Gravel shaving soap from uh, the folks at Gravel. Georg and Christian Blessing. My thanks to them very much for sending this along. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share it. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artists and soap makers you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make some wonderful, wonderful shaving soap. They offer some great artisan shaving soap. They also offer some absolutely wonderful shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. Please, when you go up online, give them a look, stop by, pay them a visit, browse a little bit, check them out. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the Amazon listed items that I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.